The market for initial public offerings has fallen off a cliff, as you know, this year, according to data from EY and Dealogic. U.S. listed companies raised over $155 billion in 21. First half of this year, only $4.8 billion, Jim. And the picture in tech IPOs, uh, that activity is almost, it's almost to the flat line. I spoke to enough people in venture capital. They were almost, uh, the level of despair has led to actual uh, laughing. It's just, it's yeah. unbelievable. By the way, that's also not been great for the investment banks that rely on capital markets activity, particularly in terms of new companies coming uh, public. You know um, who a lot of people blame? Chamath. Chamath. They blame him. Oh, Chamath. Chamath. They blame him. I'm not kidding. He comes up a lot. He comes <laughs> sure. up, he's like the villain. Well, was, listen, SPACs were a large were a large percentage of issuance a year ago. We right. know that. SPACs coming public. We still had quite a few come public, even this year. They still do it. We've seen our share. Can we just but stop that? But to that, that point, uh, you, in the U.S., Jim, as we know, uh, issuance has virtually been nothing compared so to what it has been in the past. But there's companies We'd, waiting and waiting yes. and waiting. How long can they last, David? Uh, you tell me. I they mean, you'll, do down rounds you, you, come public. you cut costs. Certainly, if you're yeah. obviously not free cash flow, you're cut, cutting costs, and you're trying to avoid having to do a down round if you can. Right. Well, that's where the resumes um, are coming. But u- ultimately, the choice is, well, do we raise more money to keep ourselves going and fight to another day, or do we, what, you know, not? No, of course, you're going to if you have to. What would happen if every time there's a SPAC, we showed guts and just said, don't buy this, people? I think you you have to be discerning. There are still some that are worth potentially buying. Well, yeah, but there's some. I mean, yeah, there's long shots that pay off at the races. You know, it's just 30 to 1 shots. I don't yeah. want to recommend those. No, I am. Well, we've been, we talked last uh, couple of days about um, Porsche yes. and Instacart. We'll see what happens there. Porsche's, we've got live wire here today. Live wire. Uh, Porsche is going to be a big deal. Well, and it's, Porsche's but it's real. a one-off. It's sort of a, it's its own special thing. Yes. Obviously, they've got a lot of sovereign funds that are already in there. It's well subscribed. It's going to price tomorrow night, start trading Thursday. We'll be watching it. Do you think it, that's going to get anything going at all? Do you think there'll be people, the headlines will be, Porsche brings back the market? It can't hurt, but I, I think it's viewed more, as, a, as I said, as sort of a singular special. Deal. It's not reflective of, of suddenly a robust market for, I agree with you. for technology companies. No. And people are going to want to buy Porsche. It's like something to say. Yeah, that it's Porsche. Are. What? How about Tesla? Does that move on Porsche? Probably. I don't know. Yeah. You tell me. That's what you're here for. Tesla. Does Tesla move right, on the Tesla Porsche? Moves on Porsche. Tesla moves on Porsche. Why? Because the market's stupid. I don't know. Because <laughs> it's idiots. All right? It's like Mo, Larry, and Curly are buying it. They're all in. Shemp doesn't like it. Remember Shemp? I do. <laughs> I do. How about Manny, Mo, and Jack? Whatever happened to the Pep Boys? Yeah, I think they extinguished them. <laughs> I actually knew they were. You did. You knew, yeah. you knew those guys. You knew, yeah. you knew those guys?